When can, can we expect the first? Uh, when can we expect that there will be some first experiments that will be resident, say, on the backside of the moon, as most of you indicated, would be the right place for the best signal to noise ratio. What, what are the time prospects? Well, I think, uh, can you come up to the mic? Jack Burns and I are HPIs of, of two uh, missions that are currently competing, and uh, we should hear about those selections sometime this summer. So it could be Jack's is a radio telescope, which these guys can tell you more about. Mine's the gamma ray uh, astronomy mission. Um, but if either one of those was selected, they would launch by 2023. So um, there may be a dedicated lunar astrophysics capability by that time frame. Some of and just one follow-on question, and I'll be quiet. <laughs> um, does the complexity of uh, the antennas that you expect to deploy, can that be done robotically, or does it invariably require uh, astronaut assistance in order to properly deploy or place them? You're talking about on the surface? Yes. I guess what I would say is, uh, can you come up to the mic just so no, get closer? What I would say is, uh, you, human, you don't need astronauts on the lunar surface. One of the, uh, one of the elements that uh, Ness uh, is, studies is uh, telerobotics, where the, where the rovers are guided by astronauts uh, in the habitat. Uh, so, but I, personally, I think. You know, I think I think you can do everything robotically with, within reason. Also, a quick comment on the earlier question. Uh, probably the first uh, radio astronomy, well, at least the first, uh, yes, the first radio astronomy receiver on the far side of the moon is uh, going to be the uh, Danish uh, instrument flown on the uh, Chinese lander, which is uh, pr predicted to go to the far side. I don't know the exact date for that, but uh, I think they will beat everyone else with, uh, with one antenna. Any other questions? I have a general question. Uh, for those of you who have um, uh, your free flyer missions, um, would you benefit from having a deep space gateway support capability, relay state? How, how, how might you benefit for uh, having a deep space gateway um, capability up there? Even, even though you would be free flyer, could that play in in some fashion? So just let's say we weren't selected. Sure. We could take this instrument or a similar instrument and attach it to the gateway, and uh, okay. that would be quite effective. There would be some trade-offs depending on the orbit. Um, but that is certainly a viable possibility. Okay. That's why I was intrigued by your right. workshop that you're going to host. All right, so I expect yeah. an abstract from you. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Isn't the gateway Bob? too far from the moon for good? Well, that's why we'd have to do some trade off studies. About well, there, there are several um, um, orbit options that uh, were identified by the uh, um, Global Exploration Roadmap in summer, but yes, yeah. we'd have to look at that. Are there any other questions? Or is lunch um, looming over us to the point that we can head out? All right, let's thank all of our speakers again, and thank you for your comments and participation.